everybody, it's Rochelle from CraftDirect.com and today we are featuring the Fuse um, Photos uh, tool. This is a new tool out by We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, when we went to the show in January, this was one of the most of my most favorite products. I'm a scrapbooker at heart and I'm always looking for a way to add more pages, pictures to my scrapbook pages. Um, so here's what the Fuse tool comes in. And currently, right now, they have three sets of waterfall sleeves. Um, they're four by sixes, four by fours, and two by twos. And I'll show you about the waterfall sleeves. Um, on craftdirect.com, we have a bundle right now for these. Um, so you can buy, get all four of these for the price of basically just the tool. Um, so basically, you're getting the three uh, water sleeve um, packages for free. Anyway, so it's a great deal. Um, show you how this thing works. So what you're going to do is you just take a scrapbook um, sheet protector. Um, this is just a memory book one. It doesn't have to be any specific brand or anything like that. And basically what it, this tool is going to allow you to do is create your own um, project life um, sheet protector type things. So. Um, Here's a, the ruler that comes with the fuse tool and the fuse tool itself and then it has a little stand to hold it. It does get a little hot so you don't want to touch it if you're going to do that. Um, so I've pre-cut out these pictures um, from a trip my kids and I took and I'm just going to slide it in. Line it up. Line it up with the edge of your pitcher. You take your fuse tool with the, it looks like a little spinny thing that has pokies on it. And you're just gonna run it lightly over, just like that. Okay, so then what that creates is a little pocket right there. I'm going to do the edge here as well. So what that creates is a little tiny pocket, seals it in completely, which would be great like if you had some like memorabilia you wanted to keep in there so it didn't get lost or anything like that. Kids hair, stuff like that, just whatever. If you're making a shaker card, you could put stuff in it and cut it out. Anyway, so I'm just gonna add the rest of these to here. Okay, so what I have is I just have three by three pictures on all four sides. They're completely sealed in, they won't go anywhere, kind of stuck in place. <clears throat> then what, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these waterfall sleeves. These are the four by six sleeves, um, but if you're like me, I always print the true digital pictures, and so they're a little bit shorter, so they're only five and a half. Um, which I thought, oh, that is going to create a problem. But then I remember to have this fuse tool and we can just fuse the edge here. So they can be whatever size you want them to be. If you need them to be a little bit smaller, just trim right next to it. And then now it's the perfect size for my photos. Um, do that on all these photos I have here.
Okay, so now we have four water false leaves and we're gonna attach them to our scrapbook page here. Um, put this one here at the bottom. And actually I wanted another picture at the bottom because I hate when you get to the bottom and there's just nothing there. So I have this extra picture which I'm just gonna stick in here. Okay, so we're just going, so you just line up your picture where you want it there. gonna run this along here. Okay, so then it fused that pocket onto there and it still created a little waterfall. So we'll do the rest. Um, I found it the most helpful if you do the top and bottom one, at least for me, that way I could see exactly how to center the middle ones. Um, if you're really good at centering those middle ones, you can just eyeball it. You wouldn't have to do that. I'm gonna cut this little top part off Okay, so there's our scrapbook page so far. Has the pictures on the side fused in, and then the waterfall pictures here. So when you lift it up, you can see all the pictures of Yosemite. And then I made this cute little thing that says Yosemite, just to kind of go at the top, because I still want it to look like a scrapbook page. I don't want it to just be pictures. I want it to have some fun stuff, because that's how I like my scrapbooks. Anyway, so there's that. That's how to make a fun scrapbook page. I have 10 pictures on one page. Um, and you can see them all. And anyway, I really like this Fuse tool. And if you're a scrapbooker, I think it's a must have tool. Thanks for watching.